Hey, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can crop to existing selection. By default, when you select the crop tool, you got this highlight of the whole picture and then you need to kind of modify this manually to match your needs. But what if you want to take advantage of multiple selection tools? We can do that. So if I grab a selection tool from the list here, and draw selection first and then switch to crop tool this will be highlighted as the default so I don't need to crop into this area again and of course we can do that with more advanced selection tools like quick selection tool I can use quick selection tool to make a selection like that that is not rectangular and then I will switch to crop tool and this area will be cropped keep in mind we're cropping the rectangle anyway even though the selection is not a rectangle but it will give us the constraint of this if we like the new area of the image the crop just click apply and that's it that's the crop based on the pre-existing selection so that's how you do it. Today's tutorial was rather short, but I know some of you have been asking about this. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next video.